Welcome! This is a training video for Bluebird Gardens employees and interns. The video covers three topics, workplace safety, food safety, and expectations for employees. Part 1. Workplace Safety Workplace safety training is an important component of keeping the employees safe and healthy by highlighting safety measures that minimize accidents and injuries. Workplace safety training is also required by law. Worker protection is the law. Everyone has a right to a safe workplace under the Occupational Safety and Health Act of 1970. The OSH Act was passed to prevent workers from being killed or otherwise harmed at work. The law requires employers to provide their employees with working conditions that are free from known dangers. The Employee Right to Know Act was passed by the Minnesota Legislature in 1983. Its purpose is to ensure that employees are aware of the dangers they may be exposed to in their workplaces. The Employee Right to Know Act requires that employers train their employees on all the hazards that they may be potentially exposed to on the job. At Bluebird Gardens, these hazards are heat stress, UV radiation, tractors and vehicles, lightning, biological hazards, tools and machinery, musculoskeletal injuries, noise, and chemicals. We will address these one by one. Heat stress. Workers exposed to hot and humid conditions are at a high risk of heat illness. Heat stress can be a serious and potentially fatal condition. Heat stroke and heat exhaustion are two serious types of heat illness. Heat stroke is the most serious heat-related illness. It occurs when the body's temperature regulating system fails and body temperatures rise to critical levels. It is a medical emergency that may result in death. If a worker shows signs of heat stroke, call 911 immediately. Then help the person cool down with shade, water, ice, and circulating air. Heat exhaustion is the next most serious heat-related illness. Workers with heat exhaustion should be moved to a cool area and given water to drink. Remove unnecessary clothing, including shoes and socks, and cool down with cold compresses. Workers should then be taken to a clinic or emergency room. If symptoms get worse, call 911. To avoid heat illnesses, employees are encouraged to drink 5 to 7 ounces of water every 15 to 20 minutes. That's about 24 ounces per hour. If you experience symptoms of heat stroke or heat exhaustion, do not ignore them. Immediately move to a cool, shaded area, drink water, and rest. UV radiation Anyone working outside is exposed to the sun's ultraviolet rays, even on cloudy days. UV rays are an invisible form of radiation. There are three types of UV rays, UVA, UVB, and UVC. UVA rays damage skin connective tissue and increase risk for developing skin cancer. UVB penetrates less deeply, but can still cause some types of skin cancer. UVC does not pose a risk. Skin cancers are the most common form of cancer in the United States. Your eyes, as well as your skin, can become sunburned. Chronic exposure of eyes to the sun can cause cataracts and permanent damage, including blindness. To minimize damage from UV radiation, follow these guidelines. Wear sunscreen with a minimum SPF of 15, even on cloudy days. Apply sunscreen 20 minutes before sun exposure and reapply it at least every two hours. Wear wide-brimmed hats and sunglasses with almost 100% UV protection and side panels. SPF does not protect against UVA rays. Use sunscreens containing titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, or avobenzene to block UVA rays. Farm Vehicles Tractor incidents are the leading cause of death and injury on farms. PTOs are especially dangerous. Dangers exist from improperly hitching a tractor, using skier stitters incorrectly, tractor rollover, carbon monoxide poisoning, and clothing and hair entanglement in moving parts. 
Bluebird Gardens employees are prohibited from operating tractors or other farm vehicles until they have been properly trained. Employees are not to use farm vehicles for any purposes not authorized by Mark Bowen or the farm manager. General safety precautions around farm vehicles include the following. Wear seat belts and stay seated. Load, unload, and turn on level ground whenever possible. Travel and turn with a bucket in the lowest position possible. Avoid operating tractors near ditches, embankments, and holes. Reduce speed when turning, crossing slopes, and on slicker, muddy surfaces. Do not permit others to ride. Avoid wearing loose clothing and keep hair tied back. Wear helmets when operating ATVs. Shut off the vehicle for refueling. Use a standard system of hand signals to communicate when noise or distance does not allow for verbal communication. Stop the PTO before dismounting from the vehicle. Only enter the skid loader when the bucket is flat on the ground or when the lift arm supports are in place. Never use foot or hand controls for steps or handholds. Lightning. Every year, more than 400 people in the United States are struck by lightning, and 55 to 60 people are killed. Hundreds of others suffer permanent neurological disabilities. In the U.S., lightning kills about the same number of people as tornadoes and more people than hurricanes. Most lightning strike victims don't die, but suffer from serious lifelong pain and neurological disabilities. All thunderstorms produce lightning. If you can hear thunder, you are in danger. Lightning may strike outside an area of heavy rain, and it may strike as far away as 10 miles from any rainfall. During thunderstorms, follow these safety rules. Avoid open areas like farm fields. Stay away from isolated tall trees, towers, wind turbines, and utility poles. Stay away from metal objects. Get inside a house or hard-topped metal vehicle. Close all windows. Stay in a safe place for at least 30 minutes after the last rumble of thunder. Biological Hazards There are three types of biological hazards that employees may encounter at Bluebird Gardens. Vector-borne diseases, stinging insects, and poisonous plants. Vector-borne diseases can be caused from insect bites, such as from a tick or mosquito. These vector-borne diseases can include West Nile virus and Lyme disease. Stinging insects are also on the farm, including bees, wasps, and hornets. They are especially dangerous to people with allergies. Avoid getting stung by avoiding perfumed soaps, shampoos, and deodorants. Remain calm around insects. If you get stung, wash the stung site with soap and water. Then remove the stinger. Poisonous plants on the farm include poison ivy. Poison oak and poison sumac are also poisonous plants. All of these plants can cause allergic reactions and are dangerous if they are burned and their toxins are inhaled. Poison ivy grows in some areas on the farm. Contact with poison ivy can cause a skin rash called allergic contact dermatitis. The rash is caused by contact with an oil in poison ivy, poison oak, or poison sumac. The oil is present in all parts of the plants, including the leaves, stems, flowers, berries, and roots. If you are exposed to a poisonous plant, do not let the exposed area come into contact with other people or other parts of your body. Wash the area immediately with rubbing alcohol or dishwashing liquid. Rinse frequently as you are washing to keep the cleaning solution from spreading the poison. Apply wet compresses, calamine lotion, or hydrocortisone cream to control the itch. Vector-borne diseases. Ticks, especially deer ticks, can carry Lyme disease. Mosquitoes can carry West Nile virus. To protect yourself, wear a hat and light-colored clothing, long pants tucked into boots, and long-sleeved shirts. You can also use insect repellent with 20 to 40 percent DEET. Remember, check your skin daily for ticks. Remove any you see immediately using fine-tipped tweezers and wash the area with soap and water. Tools and Machinery 
Power tools, and even simple tools, can be hazardous and have the potential for causing severe injuries when used or maintained improperly. Bluebird Gardens have several simple and power tools on site that may be dangerous and potentially fatal if used incorrectly. Employees may not use tools, equipment, or machinery until they know how to do so safely and have been authorized to do so by Mark Bowen. Even after training, farm equipment and tools should not be used by anyone who feels they cannot do so safely. Tools and equipment may not be used by anyone for any purposes not specifically authorized by Mark Bowen. Musculoskeletal Injuries Repetitive motions, especially in awkward positions, can cause musculoskeletal injuries. Ergonomic risk factors include repetitive, forceful, or prolonged exertions of the hands, frequent or heavy lifting, pushing, pulling, or carrying of heavy objects, and prolonged awkward postures. Vibration and cold can intensify these effects. Not following good ergonomic practices can result in strains, sprains, and other soft tissue injuries that can become chronic conditions that may require surgery. Even a motion that is harmless in itself, like stretching out an arm to grab an object, can put a worker at risk if it is repeated over and over. When doing repetitive work, it's important to allow adequate time for recovery by alternating with a low repetition task. Here are some guidelines to prevent musculoskeletal injuries. Keep lifts between hand level and shoulder level. Avoid lifting from the floor or over your shoulder. Use dollies, pallet trucks, or utility carts whenever possible. Use handles on containers. Do not carry loads over 50 pounds. Take multiple small loads rather than trying to carry a large amount at once. Get close to the item that you are picking. Try to keep anything you grab within 17 inches of your body. Make sure your workstation height is appropriate. Use properly designed tools with smooth, slip-resistant material. Noise around noise, you need to protect your ears or you may develop permanent hearing loss. You may also develop a permanent ringing, buzzing, or roaring in your ears known as tinnitus. Prolonged and frequent exposure to noise levels above 85 decibels, both on and off the farm, can result in permanent hearing loss and tinnitus. If you need to raise your voice to be heard at an arm's length away, the noise is probably loud enough to damage your hearing. Common noises above the 85 decibel threshold include gunshots, chainsaws, circular saws, tractors, hand drills, and table saws. Once you lose your hearing, it's gone. Nothing can restore it. OSHA's Hearing Conservation Amendment of 1971 uses the Walsh-Healy noise standard that defines permissible noise exposure over specific periods of time. Employers must administer a continuing effective hearing conservation program whenever employee noise exposures are at or above an 8-hour time-weighted average of 85 decibels. Most tractors produce noise levels above 90 decibels. The maximum allowable daily exposure time to 90 decibels is 8 hours. When employees are subjected to noise exceeding the permissible levels, feasible administrative or engineering controls must be utilized. If such controls fail to reduce sound levels within the permissible levels, personal productive equipment must be provided. To prevent hearing loss, follow these guidelines. Limit exposure to noises at or above 85 decibels. Wear hearing protective devices, such as earplugs or earmuffs, whenever you are exposed to loud noise. Hearing protectors only work if they fit your ears and if you wear them properly. Chemicals In compliance with the OSHA Act, Bluebird Gardens has printed copies of all the material safety data sheets for all items on the farm that are potentially hazardous. The material safety data sheets are available in a special binder for employees to read and review at their convenience. The main chemical hazards at Bluebird Gardens are bleach and treated seeds. To minimize harm from contact with chemicals, Bluebird Gardens provides employees with latex gloves to use when handling treated seeds, fertilizer, and cleaning products. The latex gloves are located in the packing house. Masks, 
and safety goggles are also available in the packing house. Safety guidelines for cleaning with bleach are posted in the packing house and available in the Bluebird Gardens Workplace Safety Resource Binder. The Bluebird Gardens Workplace Safety Resource Binder has detailed information on all of these potential safety hazards. Part 2. Food Safety Bluebird Gardens operates using a community-supported agriculture business model. Each customer who buys a share in the farm trusts Bluebird Gardens to grow, harvest, and pack food responsibly so that it is free of pathogens and disease-causing organisms. Because of the size of Bluebird Gardens, we will soon be required to follow new rules regarding food safety in vegetable production and harvesting. Although these rules have not yet been determined by the government, farms like Bluebird Gardens are encouraged to start assessing their farm for its food safety and to follow the Good Agricultural Practices Guide. Food safety practices have to be maintained at every step, from planting, to harvesting, to packing, to delivery. Two types of practices are key to food safety on the farm. The first involves traceability and record keeping. The second involves good hygiene and safe handling of produce. We will address these one at a time. Record keeping to ensure traceability is a key component of any food safety plan. In our effort to comply with the Good Agricultural Practices Guidelines, or GAP Guidelines, Bluebird Gardens maintains several records that allow us to track what is grown, what is harvested, what is packed, and who does each of these activities. All of the Bluebird Gardens record keeping procedures for food safety will be explained to you. For now, you just need to know that such records exist and that it is your responsibility to help maintain them. Traceability in food safety is about who, what, when, and where things are harvested, washed, and packed. It is important that we record who harvests each vegetable, when they were harvested, where they were harvested from, and when they will be packed and delivered to customers. It is also important to record how much of each product was harvested. The second key component in food safety involves good hygiene and safe handling practices. Good hygiene primarily involves washing your hands before you handle any produce. It is very important that before you handle any fresh produce, you wash your hands thoroughly. Wash your hands after taking breaks, after eating, or after using the bathroom. Avoid touching the produce to any parts of your body that are not clean. Do not touch the produce except with clean hands. If you have a cut, wear a band-aid and latex gloves. If any food falls on the floor, set it aside. Do not put it in the box. Other safe handling practices involve storing vegetables at appropriate temperatures. Different vegetables need different storage conditions. There are four different environments in which various vegetables prefer to be stored cool and dry, cold and dry, cool and moist, cold and moist. The rule of thumb is that as you lower the temperature, you should raise the humidity of the storage conditions. Most of the vegetables grown at Bluebird Gardens prefer cold and moist conditions, that is, between 32 and 35 degrees Fahrenheit at 95% relative humidity. Vegetables that prefer cold and moist conditions include 